Okay, fair warning. This video will be aimless, directionless. I don't have a specific subject to talk about and I'll tell you why. So it's going to be a little bit of a random vlog style fragrance video. Uh, I've, I've been wanting to do some individual perfume reviews recently and a lot of the stuff that I have tested and sampled uh, enough for me to be able to do a relatively informed review. None of these perfumes have really <laughs> inspired me. Uh, I, I realized that what it made me realize was that I, when I do a review of a perfume, um, I really enjoy doing perfume reviews for stuff that I either really, really like or I, or there's something in there that really just rubs me up the wrong way and, and I really dislike the fragrance. Those reviews for me are kind of easy to do. The hardest reviews for me to do is when something is just okay and pleasant, you know, the, even just the, you know, they don't smell bad uh, and they're not fantastic either. They are the hardest reviews for me to do. I can try and describe what I'm smelling, what notes I can smell in the perfume, but it just really just leaves me a bit bereft, to be honest. And and so I haven't I haven't been really motivated or inspired to do any particular perfume reviews. They will come because I've got a lot of stuff in rotation, a lot of samples in rotation that I um, will eventually do a review of. So that's a good segue into what I'm going to, so I'm going to talk about a variety of things. We're at the midway point of the year, 2021. And I've got to say, as an aside, it's been just a light and day difference between this time last year and this time this year. Let me just tell, tell you that. Samples, what have I been sampling? What I'll talk about is, I've been sampling a lot of stuff. Um, and then I'll talk about samples I'm really, really enjoying uh, that may turn into full bottles sometime in the future. Uh, so, okay, so let me just start by saying I'm, I've got four or five samples that I'm really, really enjoying and I'm thinking about the possibility of bottles. Um, one of them is jo Jovoy Psychedelic. Uh, the other one is from Etat Lib d'Orange, which is the afternoon of a fawn. Then I still have a little sample of Guerlain's Ensemble Mythique. And I'm just trying to think of the fourth one. And the fourth one is from Serge Lutin. This is from the expensive Gratisiel line. It's a uh, Fumerie Turc and those ones I have been really enjoying and there will be, apart from Ensemble Mythique, which I've already reviewed, uh, will be reviews of the other ones that I've mentioned there. They will possibly end up as bottles, but I want to share with you a little insight that I've learned, well, that I've learned about my process, I guess, if you like, is that, uh, and, and if I was going to give advice to anybody who is new to buying lots of fragrances or trying lots of fragrances, the, the first piece of advice I would give you is if you're sampling something, uh, testing it via a decant or, an, or a sample or, or, or wherever you are trying it from, my advice would be finish whatever you have before you make the decision to buy a full bottle of it. And the reason I'm saying that is in the past, I have, I mean, we all blind buy bottles, which is, which is a separate thing. But in the past, when I've sampled things from official samples or decants, I have had a tendency to wear it one or two times and just decide that I love it and I'll, I'd buy a bottle. Now this hasn't happened for a while, but more recently, I've been just content to have my decant and just use that all up uh, and make my decision 
when that when that decanal sample is empty because I found that I go through these little phases while I'm using it up and I, I might love it at the beginning and then by the time I finish that decan I, I know inside that I'm not going to need a bottle or the opposite that I absolutely will miss this and I really need a bottle. Uh, so that's my little piece of advice and a little bit of a learning that I've um, come across for myself while doing lots of sampling. Um, the other thing with that as well is I'm, I'm, I am doing a lot of sampling just purely to um, have content to put up on this channel for review. But at the same time, I've, since the beginning of the year, I've been on this uh, collection slash wardrobe declutter um, reduction, whatever you want to call it. At the beginning of the year, 1st of January, I had 103 bottles of, of perfume separate from probably the 100 samples and decants I had as well. Uh, it is now June and I've reduced my bottle number down to 91. So I've reduced it by 14 and I've still managed to buy new bottles this year. Um, it, it, it's been, it's actually been really, a really good process for me because I've got my, I've, I, and I think we probably all go through this to some extent, people who are right into buying and collecting fragrances in that there is always that next bottle to want um, that you need and this fear of missing out on, on something. Going through this process, I've found almost the opposite thing has, has occurred, is happening to me. Um, first of all, I am becoming a lot more picky about what bottles I actually want to buy. Um, so I've, I've only bought, compared to previous years, so far I've only bought five new bottles this year while at the same time um, getting rid of nearly 20 bottles um, all, all up. Um, and I have found this kind of process, it's been making it really, really easy for me to decide what in my existing wardrobe um, I don't, I simply won't miss. I simply can get rid of and not miss. And, and I know, and I have not had any regrets so far of, of all the bottles I've removed from my wardrobe. I'm not missing any of them. I don't feel like uh, that I will need to repurchase any. Well, right at the moment, I don't, definitely don't. Um, and it's kind of been really, really good. I'm appreciating the ones that I really love right now um, a lot more. And also, you know, I, you know, I still will look, go online, look at bottles and I uh, uh, what's tended to happen is stuff has stayed in my shopping cart for a lot longer without me pressing buy. And even that process, if I leave something in there for a while, I might come back to it and realize, no, I don't actually want it. So it's kind of been basically good therapy for me in terms of curbing my, in, my compulsion to buy to buy things and I think I think that a lot of us at some point in this journey um, get caught up a little bit with with bottle acquisition syndrome um, and you know it can turn it can turn into uh, a, a, a little bit of an addiction that could could potentially become a problem for some people. So yeah, that's where I'm at. So my aim is hopefully by the end of the year that that number will go um, below 80 bottles and then I'll reassess, I'll reassess where I'm at after that. But I, I'm much, I, I'm much happier with what I have to choose from in terms of 
perfumes uh, to wear. I, I don't feel like I've got a bunch of stuff that's just sitting there that I'm that I don't love that will never get worn, and I'm and I'm quite happy that a lot of those have gone to more appreciative owners, I guess. And so speaking, uh, so speaking to that a little bit. Uh, I want to talk about what uh, I've worn the most over the last six months as well. There, are, there, are, there's probably no a couple of these and no surprises. My most worn over the last six months has been Latissen's uh, Zonka, which I, I've actually bought them in anyway. Ah, there we go, Latissen Zonka, uh, 1962 from Floris Habit Rouge, which was my number one fragrance as well. And uh, what was the other one? And over summer, my summer in the Southern Hemisphere, I really wore uh, Parfum d'Empire's Azimo Les Oranges uh, quite a lot, uh, which, which I really, really enjoyed. What I'll do to finish up this video, because I don't want it to be too long, just me rambling and talking about stuff. I'll show you the, the five bottles that I have purchased in 2021 so far. Um, and you know, there might be, there might be a few more before the end of the year, but there'll be a lot more, um, gone instead. So the first one I purchased this year was, uh, this one, this is Oud, if I can get that in focus eventually. No, it doesn't want to play today. This is Oud Palau. Uh, from Diptyque. I have a review of that, which I'll, I'll link in the description. Um, and then, as I said, I did get a bottle of this old style um, Latissen Zonka, which I really love. For my birthday, I treated myself to probably my first kind of vintage bottle that I, that I own. Um, this is number five, Eau de Cologne. Um, I'll just open it because this, this one is from circa early eighties, mid eighties. Um, it comes in a screw top, um, sort of splash bottle. So I've decanted this into a, a sprayer, but I got this mainly because I saw a lot of people, um, online who, whose taste I respect rave about the Eau de Cologne concentration of number five. And I wasn't a huge fan of the other concentrations of number five, but I was curious about this. And then I did get to smell this um, before I went looking for a bottle and it was, it's just beautiful. Um, number five Eau de Cologne. Then I purchased my first Frederick Marle and it, it wasn't the one I thought I would purchase for a long time. I tried a lot of different Frederick Marles, um, but then I got a decant of this one and I just, with everywhere, sort of very much grew on me. And this one is French Lover. I'll eventually do a review of this. And apparently in some parts of the world, I think, it's been renamed to Bois d'Orage, maybe in North America, perhaps. And lastly, one that I have not spoken about before or mentioned in any of my videos, this was my latest acquisition and it was a total blind buy, mainly because samples are very hard to come by in this part of the world for this house in particular. Um, but my blind buy success strikes again and this one is from Maria Candida Gentile. This is Barry Lyndon, uh, named after the Stanley Kubrick film. I, I believe there was a novel written. I don't know who the author is. So I don't know if it's based on the novel or the film. Either way, the smell doesn't have any relation in my mind to any of those things. But I really, really enjoy this one. And I'll talk about it more in, in later videos, but I need to spend more time with this so I can review it properly. So that is my mid-year therapy slash rant 
session over in relation to fragrance, of course. I've got so many other issues that I need to deal with. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, talk to me in the comments. Let me know what you've been doing with your perfume habits, your buying bottles, your sampling, testing. And also, um, <clears throat> I, I would have talked more about the other samples I'm... I'm trying out, but, but if you guys have anything in particular you would like me to review, look at a house, um, let me know in the comments and I'll try and do that. Like I'd, ra I'd much rather do something that you guys are particularly interested in. I, I will let you know that there will be upcoming, I did a video recently, um, uh, uh, like an overview of Olympic orchids perfume. Now, we'll let you know that I'm planning to do similar videos with Javoy, with uh, St. Clair Scents, also from the US, also with Nishane. Um, I have several of their samples. Um, so I, I'm going to focus on doing kind of house uh, gen overviews generally um, and, you know, sort of ranking what, I, what I've tried from those houses. Um, and then I've got a bunch of, a variety of different samples from all over the place. But look, if you, if you think of something you particularly want me to try and smell, if I can get my hands on it, I will. Um, but you'll have to be patient because I do like to take my time trying stuff before I, I do full blown reviews. Um, other than that, I've been, you know, messing around with trying to familiarize myself with, you know, more raw materials than the ones I, I already have, just to trying to improve my nose in general. And that's it. And hopefully in the next six months, I'll have more interesting news to share with you. Uh, thank you for indulging me in this particular video. I always appreciate anyone watching commenting, liking, um, and subscribing even. So I love you all and I'll see you soon. Bye.